So hey guys, welcome back to my channel for tutorials. So guys, today I'll teach you how to create new style of dynamic animation with using Gematry nodes. See guys, that's my really cool bubble animation. It's really simple and guys, best tutorial for beginners. So stop, guys. I show you my shader preview like this. That's my really cool material and guys, final render preview like this this is my final render guys i use simple only sdri image okay so now again go to on here and guys i teach you how i create this type of beautiful animation okay so guys stop and i create new composition and and guys select this one camera delete and light delete guys see that's my only cube so guys go to on back screen node and create new Yes, so guys, that's my workspace, joint area check, yes, and delete your group input, delete, yes, I use only Gmacti output, okay, so now, guys, firstly, I use this time, Icosphere, this one, and second one, guys, I used UV spill, UV spill, like this, yeah, right, okay, so next one, guys, go to on search, and type instant on point so guys this one instant on point drag and drop yes so guys instant on point connect to geometry and this one mesh connect with point and this one uv spare connect with instant like this yes see guys that's my uv spare and guys i increase size so guys radius this one is good and subdivision increase like a 5 is good for me 5 and guys go to on here radius so radius i change like a 0 0.1 enter yes see guys that's my spares and now guys i use this time go to on here and type translate see that's my translate instant to connect with this one yeah and next one guys i use scale instant select this one scale instant connect to this one yes okay so next one guys i use random volume this one random value so guys connect to scale like this yes see guys that's my randomly shape okay so guys see that's my minimum I increase like a 0 0.9 and max this one I like 0 0.1 and top yes right okay so now guys go to on here and guys I create smoothness that's not smooth so use set smooth set shade and see guys that's my set shade smooth so connect to this one yes See guys, that's my really cool smoothness. Okay, so next one guys, go to on here and up. And that's my instant and translate. So guys, select this one, note. So go to on up and that's my translate. Guys, I create randomly particle animation. So use vector math. This one vector math. So connect to this one, translation like this and see guys that's my add so i use scale like this yeah and guys next one i use one more time vector math so connect to this one vector to vector and see guys that's my add i change subtract so go to on here subtract check yes and next one guys i use noise texture noise texture so connect to this one like this yes see guys that's my noise texture it's really good and next one guys i use this time math m e t h math so guys connect to this one so guys i change noise this one that's my 3d to change 4d so this one that's my add and connect to w yes and see guys that's my add that's my math and add to I change multiple this one yes and lastly guys 
I take value value so connect to here like this yes and see guys that's my value so I type hash and frame enter yes that's it guys so guys go to down and play yeah see guys that's my randomly animation so now guys I change speed so see guys that's my multiple speed I like 0.005 enter and play yes see guys that's my dynamic animation it's really good okay so now guys you can change also scale size and see guys that's my scale size scale size randomly I like 5 is good yeah 5 but see guys that's not correct so go to one center pivot and that's my subtract I like 0 0.5 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 and time yes much better and play yes see guys that's my really cool dynamic okay so guys now i also change noise texture setting see guys that's my noise texture so scale size i like two detail one yes and guys play yeah see guys that's my really cool spare dynamic animation it's really simple okay so now I stop and I change some settings so yeah all is good see guys that's my simple setting that's my geometry notes yeah all is good and go to on here yeah good yes see really good and next one guys I apply material so you set material set material connect to this one here yeah. and select your spare guys I create new material so delete and create new so guys material name rename like a new mat yeah and see guys that's my set material to change set mat like this yeah so guys see that's my simple geometry and guys all is good and now guys I apply colorful material so go to one shading and closer see guys I used new mat and guys now I apply color and color M connect to base color like this and next one guys I use info object like this so randomly connect to this one yeah okay so now guys I change color so guys first color I like like a randomly use yellow is good enter and next one guys I use like a blue 0.6 1 and guys change node and one more time guys you can use anyone like a 0.75 and 1 like a that's my violet purple and next one guys I use red so red like this yeah good see guys that's my really cool materials and now guys I change constant this one yeah much better see guys that's my really cool material and next one guys go to one roughness roughness 0.2 and metallic 0.1 is good yeah much better see guys that's really cool right guys if you want to create more realistic you can increase only metallic is dependent on your work like a metallic 0.5 also is good yes okay 0.3 yes okay so guys go to on here that's my world property and now guys I apply environment texture so open and guys I use SDRI material like this and import yeah so go to on layout and closer guys I take camera camera check and set your camera angle Go to back and camera 90 0 and 0 yes so guys play yeah it's good okay so guys go to on location transform I like minus 4 to so closer like a minus 3 is good and press animation key and guys go to on like a 600 frame is good for me yes 600 and guys go to back last and camera transform like a minus 9 and a check 
Yes. So guys, go to back and play. Yeah. See guys, that's my really cool dynamic animation. It's really cool. And lastly, guys, I use plane for background and go to down and scale size increase like this. Yeah. And go to edit mode. Guys, I create background. Press ENG and up. Guys, I create extrude. So use bevel and bevel amount 0.2 is good. Enter. Okay, so guys, object and segments. Guys, I use like a 40 and right click shade smoother and press camera. Yeah. Okay, so guys, go to on background and create material. So guys, go to on here and I create dark view material like this and roughness increase like a 0 0.8 that's it guys okay and guys click on here final render preview yes and now guys i change material setting so guys now i change render setting so go to one up render i use cycle render and device gpu check and see guys that's my max amp 256 is good for me and guys that's my simple preview setting 1 to 8 enter and click on here yes see guys that's my really cool material it's really beautiful okay so guys that's it my final work is finished and lastly guys go to on render setting here that's my output use 30 fps and that's my output so i create new folder like this and take any file name yeah that's it guys so render and render image actually render animation check okay so guys that's it my final work is finished so if you like my video please share and please subscribe my youtube channel thank you okay so now guys lastly i change metallic so guys stop stop and close shader shading guys i don't like metallic like a zero yes i create like a plastic effect so again one more time and render animation check yes see guys that's my really cool colorful effect so guys that's it if you like my video please share and please subscribe my youtube channel thank you